What's up fellas? Today we are going to electro etch this burner in preparation for a ceramic coating that I want to put on it. All right, one last quick look at it before we throw it in there. I'm not going to do any post work at all of this thing. I'm just going to dip it into the bath. And this is what 30 minutes of 58 amps of anodic oxidation gets us. I got this thing kind of set up here. I didn't want to do a hip uh, dipping because I didn't want to accidentally hit the bottom of this tank at 80 amps. So I'm going to go ahead and crank this up to 58 amps, 30 amps, 50 amps. Fifty-eight amps, right there. This thing is excessively dirty, so it's probably going to really muck this water up. I'll go ahead and let it go for ten minutes, and we'll take a look at it. All right, I forgot to show you that. We are at uh, turn it up just a hair. Oops. The control you get off of this Variac is incredible. Far better than a Triac. Oh wow, it looks quite clean. This has got to go. Huh, that's remarkable. Definitely cleaning her up guys. Check that out. Not too bad for 10 minutes. So we'll throw it in there for another 10. You can see where the electrolyte line was right there. Okay, we're ready for round two. We're gonna do another 10 minutes. One last little high powered blast there. Woo, hit 100 amps right there on that last little blast I gave it. That's impressive. Let's see what we got here. Not too shabby. So, here it is after 20 minutes. Blasted almost all that oxidiz or oxidized scale off. We started to do a number to it. It's almost done. Okay, so, we're going to back off the energy density here a bit, and we're going to do 25 amps and see what that does for us. 25 amps right there. Okay, here it is after 10 minutes. Looking really good. Still got some different colors there. 10 minutes ain't really much at that power rating, you know, based on the behavior we've seen previously. So I might give this one more run at that lower power just to kind of observe the surface features of the metal. Well, the results speak for themselves. It completely cleaned that thing up. The fluid line was right here. It only went in there that deep. So the foam cleaned that top area. This is what it did look like before. This is another burner. This is not a rocket burner. This is just one of my Godzilla burners with the air preheat. 
but uh, definitely an impressive process. All right, guys, so we all remember the old videos with the battery charger and the baking soda and the whole rust removal and paint removal process. Well, I feel like this particular electrolyte bath is a couple of steps ahead of that. Definitely a process I'll be using a lot in the future. So just wanted to share with you guys what I did this week. It about drove me nuts with the lead pot and all that and building a power supply. It was quite the fight. So I definitely wanted to share the fruit of my efforts on this one.